Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. It's lovely to have you join me here, thank you so much. I hope you're all well. It is um, Sunday for you and it is um, Bank Holiday Sunday here for us in uh, the UK because it's um, May Day tomorrow. So um, we're back with the second uh, soft covered fairy journal, so the fabric covered with the um, frayed edge so you can see it's not as frayed yet as um, the previous one we've done but it will keep keep fraying and I'll keep trimming oops that's off the front yeah until it becomes as frilly and as frayed and as um yeah even probably as that last one um so we'll just have a quick reminder of what's in it I do want to put some more um pages in so the signature is not complete yet so we won't be put making the signature today what I'm going to do today is make something for this front pocket. So if you remember, it's got this lovely, leave that in, um, lovely material on the inside. I think it's similar. I think that's the same as the other one. Yeah, the same material on the inside. It's got a bit of a bump there on the, on the, um, oh, it lays flat when you squash it. So it'll be okay for me to um, sew into. Don't know why it's. In, I may, if you remember I made it from or if you weren't with me layering up pieces of scrap scrap scrapbook card or scrapbook paper so yeah I think it'll be fine anyway um, and I had one of these already made I put well I had two ready, already made I put one in the last one and this one fits perfectly and the colours go etc in this one so we're having that in there and I want to make something today for the front here but we'll just remind ourselves of the signature. I think there's 13 pages here, if I remember rightly, and I want to make it 15, um, which I think will work just nicely. 14 at least, <laughs> um, so that we can fill it a fair bit. Um, yep, so that's book page with some fabric stitched down it. Just some plain pretty papers. A page that I edged with the trimmer. A Gordon Benningfield butterfly image book page um, and he has the drawings on the back the sketches so that is yeah homemade paper that's a calf kidston paper music paper with the excess right are we are we upside down do you think or just that page oh was that the one yeah that was the one that had yeah it was upside down on one side so we need to um we need to cover that on that side don't we um this yeah so on this side the music is the right way up on this side because it was a book that opened um, along its length upside down so that's not not a problem we'll soon cover that yeah lovely bit of frill there so some plain pink paper some lovely um, trio of fabrics stitched on there calf kidston colouring page I think this is, is it Graphics 45? Well, another one of those lovely vellum envelope um, pockets things that we had in the other journal. Another piece of straw paper and another uh, beautiful envelope from, um, yeah, Violet. Yep, so the back's obviously just the other side to all of those. I don't know if there was anything. Well, there's a tab sewn on that piece of the music paper. A lacy tab yeah I might so I might sew down a few more of the edges of these and pop bits and pieces on I think I will like I did in the other one and yeah add at least one more book page um, if not two because I want to use some of my book pages up in my journals that's what I started out doing um, so yeah so I'll get a couple more pages and then we will sew it in uh, maybe I was gonna to say tomorrow but tomorrow is going to be master board Monday We'll see, we, we might have a quick one Monday afternoon sewing it in, if not it will be Wednesday because Tuesday is my um, Facebook challenge and yes, yeah, a good one this week, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm, I made something up, what have I done with it? Hmm. Surely I can't have lost it already. Well, I'll go to the foot of our stairs, I've just been sat here playing and made something. Oh, I know, it stood under it. <laughs> yeah, I stood it under something to try and flatten it. So, 
um, I wanted to use some more of these book pages up which I've got here um, like the double ones you know so I've done a lot of fussy cutting I, I, I could still do some more but I've still got quite a few book pages um, that one's only got one picture I want it with a picture both sides really yeah that one has um, yeah yeah so I wanted to use them up so if I just take the tag out for now and show you what I've done because that is a tag that we've, we made previously so it's just two two pages double pages stuck together and uh, pocket made in the middle like that but also the, the other side of it has also got the two fairies so I just popped a, a vellum pocket on there and put a, a very thin journal card in now this um, poem does not relate to either of these two fairies which is why I thought I might not that it matters really it's a, it's a poem about a fairy but I thought I might put that on that side and then on this side this this poem does relate so I just left it showing now there were so many different things I thought about doing it could also have a flip down in here sorry about the ink I've had a leaky pen um, or you could cover it completely with um, journaling paper you know paper for journaling on um, you could put another pocket this side as well as, as that side yeah so so many things you can do and yet you've got all these beautiful beautiful fairies in there as well so a nice substantial piece um, to go in the front so I was thinking the one I'm going to make we've got this lovely um, tag and I thought the greens and the there's a little bit of mauve mauve in there um, so I thought this tag would go nice in the front of here so let's have a look what we've got here it's a real simple make as well I mean she's nice for the front isn't she Traveller's Joy and that is the poem for that one so that's a good one to have on the front um, oh the Yarrow Fairy they could both be front ones Let's have a look. Ragwort and yarrow. If that went that way and that went that way. Oh, yeah, I think we've cracked it. So let's see. So it's as simple as that. You just need two, two pages um, that are open opposites because I, I, I like that kind of Z. Um, yeah, so lay them down like that and we're just going to glue these two together. Um, in a pocket sorry you'll notice that I have got down my uh, lovely gluey mat where's my glue um, yeah and it's, it does move about a bit it hasn't um, I think it's because the desk is so shiny as well it doesn't stay put so I might need to put some tape or something under it but it's definitely saving my uh, my desk some oh, I only used that a few minutes ago right I've got a pin here that I got in some happy mail from the lovely Nikki. <laughs> I told you I'd use it and cover it in glue, Nikki. Um, so yeah, it's saving my table a bit. Right, I am filming on an evening and it is, I am under the filming light. It is getting dusky. So sorry about the shadows, but it's really, you know, it's a fairly simple make, so it's not you don't need to see too closely I know you like to so all I've done is like um, a pocket round make sure I've got that the right way yeah and just literally get them square one on top of the other so if you just use a bit of glue that um, gives you a few minutes to move it in case you need to like that whoops yeah I have got a bigger a much bigger piece of this um, when I unearth it. This is the small one that I used to have on my table at Mum's. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that one might stay still a bit better. Yep, so you've got those two gluing together. Obviously there's a pocket down there. I won't pull it at the moment. And then I wanted to cover up the, the seams just because of the, you know, where it's been sewn into its original um, binding. And I had this beautiful, uh, washi that we used in the other journal so I just put some of that on which I'll put on this one as well because I liked it. it's a bit iridescent a bit shiny 
and it just strengthens the um, uh, play in this game. What is it that is strengthening the hinge? Is it the hinge? The spine, the bit that opens. I suppose it's the hinge really, isn't it? Come on. It's teasing me because it's very nearly open but just keeps closing up on me again. Okay, I did have this problem a few minutes ago once I made that other one. I just sat down playing with the papers thinking what could I come up with? I sat down thinking about a notebook maybe with these pages to go in the front and this is what evolved a pocket <laughs> there we go and these have stuck quite well this this um yes washy <laughs> it stuck down quite well on the last one without glue so i'm going to do the same again just rubbed it really well and then just trim it off the only thing about the washi is you have to really burnish the seams. Oops. You know, just because it gives it a tendency to spring back. Well, that one's gone all right. Which was the front? That. Yeah, so that one is going back, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I was just going to do it one each side, but then I thought, once I've seen that on there, this one looks looked quite bare to me. You know, when it's on one side, it folds quite flat. Once I put it on this side as well, it's going to be a lot springier and I'll have to burnish it quite a bit. But that's okay. Um, shall we have it on the side of the fairy that way? That iridescent bit. So, I hope you're all well, guys. I hope you're uh, having a nice weekend. Did you see um, Tanya's launch of her new kit yesterday? exciting times so you probably heard that um, there's a few of us now let's hope I get it right I think it's me Rita Jensen and Mandy Chilvers I think who's um yeah going to help help us showcase the kit so these next four weeks we're all taking it in turns with Tanya to um to do something with the, the pages and show you what we're making so yeah, that should be fun. I will be doing it for a whole week, mine, so um, I'm not sure. I think Rita probably is as well. Um, with the, It's the Alice in Wonderland kit. Yeah, so looking forward, really looking forward. Did I completely miss that hinge there, or am I? Let's do it there and fold it that way. I just couldn't see it once I'd got the, that's it. <laughs> couldn't see where I'd put it. Once I got the tape on it was, it was not playing. See, so I've only got a tiny bit of it showing that side, that's the back, isn't it? So it doesn't matter. The main thing is it's doing its job, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think, hmm, when's mine starting? I think mine might, might be starting the 22nd of March, but watch this space it'll be coming to you so i'm hoping march i meant may <laughs> hoping to get these uh, three fairy journals plus tanya's done by then and like i say the tatty treasure and friends challenge which is out i think is um oh i've got loads of those <laughs> yeah i would, didn't know where to start with mine because oh i've got loads of all sorts of things so yeah i'm really looking forward to that again i sat sat at my desk and played and made something so i'm going to share that with you on Tuesday. Let's do this again. I've been, um, Neil's day off, been out to my sisters and my mum's both today with him. Uh, he's been collecting more, more of our belongings. <laughs> I think we're 99.9% .9 have everything here now. So we're not scattered between three houses. There's just a few bits at mum's, but nothing much. So yeah, that's a, that's a good job done. But as we do always on these days off, we didn't get done everything that we planned, but there you go. The thing that didn't get done today was the painting of my room, but never mind. It will, it will get there. And it's not as if I haven't got an, 
you know, a nice place to sit and craft. The decoration is really just secondary, isn't it? It'll be nice, it'll be lovely when it's done, but um, yeah, it's not stopping me crafting in any way, shape or form. It, the only thing it's stopping me doing really is properly organising my room because we're still a bit uh, nomadic. When he wants to come in and, and paint, everything has to you know, go out of sight or out of the room. <laughs> we don't want paint on it. So uh, yeah, that's the only the only issue, but won't be forever, will it? And uh, yeah, I think I've already told you that we're going, we're going car booting tomorrow. Oops, let's try and get it a bit, oh, we've gone through, you see it does stick well. Well, I'm truly put that down. I mean, you could fold it if you wanted to get it in a straight line like I did the other day when I used it. That does work. Um, fold your, your wash in half and crease it before you put it down. But, I, you know, I wasn't overly bothered about which part of it we could and couldn't see. Right, let's do again. Let's fold it where it, it's clear it should be, which is about there, I think. Yeah, I can fold it wherever I want now because, <laughs> yeah, we want you well over. That's it. Because it's straightened that seam entirely. Lost its bend. Yeah, so you can barely see the bit that's on there, can you? Yeah, just have to keep giving it a really good burnish. And obviously the more it's in the book, the more it will uh, flatten down. Yeah, lovely. So that's what we're looking for. We then need to put a divot in the middle of there. I did try with just putting it in the front, but I went for both. Obviously you can change it up and do whatever you would like. The ragwort fairy, yeah, that is that one. Oops. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of opening the first time because it's it's been glued and burnished down to within an inch of its life. Once you've had it open a few times and the, uh, the tag in it, it starts to open. Come on, let me in. That's it. There's quite a lot of green on there and that goes quite well as well, doesn't it? The Heather Fairy. Love the hair on that Heather Fairy. Um, and that is the arrow fairy, so we could just leave that, but I really liked that um, really liked that vellum pocket in there. And the top of it does still show, doesn't it? So let's just make it nice and square as well, square enough to the eye. <laughs> Where do we want it? About there, I think. It doesn't have to be exact. No, don't get rid of that, Denny. Yep, yeah, so if we just, doesn't need to be quite that deep, and then if we just square it up, hmm. that sounds like somebody's dustbin, it's definitely not dustbin day, not on a bank holiday weekend, are we squarish? Probably square enough to my eye, um, I rounded the corners I think on the top of the other one. Yeah, so just a nice quick make, seeing as it's so late in the evening. And another one of these, shall we have, in the middle. Yep. Yeah. I'm not closed up again, have you? I heard my pin hit the table earlier as well, there it is. Yeah, I've just, um, amongst the stuff that I brought for my sisters, I just found my uh, small tin of patchwork that I was working on. Before we moved to her house, I just had a little tin, oops, Denise, that was wobbly, at the side of my chair, in the bungalow, that uh, I would sit and, you know, have a little play with. You know me, I like to have everything around me, me knitting, me crocheting and all my paper craft and uh, yeah so I've found a pot of pins which is good 
So that's just one of those Flower Fairy playing cards. And one of these sayings from uh, Adamo Prince. So this one is, I've always believed in experience everything in life. When you walk out with blinders on, you cut yourself off from the angels and the fairies. I'll just put that in as a little... Yeah. A little bit of interest to find. Okay, so that's it. As easy as that. Yeah. Like I say, again, you could put another um, little pocket down there. I'm not going to, but with something in it or a little flap notebook or you know one of those envelopes that opens down to a journal on that's really nice let's have a look at it in this front pocket then it's not taken as long to make either that was good wasn't it yeah i think she's going to be nice in there don't you yeah we definitely want another um another piece uh, oh, a book page another page that's what I was trying to say another page in there right what um what ephemera have we got here this is what we put away for this journal this is on top of the other ephemera that we've um already earmarked so that was made with a junk envelope I think I wonder if that would be nice just doesn't want to let go of me that bag just thinking it might be nice with rounded corners should we just play with the ephemera for oh gosh a few minutes see what we're going to to put in good noise isn't it I quite like that the back's a corner it means you can open it easy just wondering if a tab might be nice on it um, and because I have tabs now don't I uh, right. mm. oh well look at that now I believe mm, gosh now I've got all these tabs and I've put, I didn't put names on which come from where Right, I think these are violets, but they might not be. But I think they are. I think these came from violet. Um, if not, then from Carol. Oh dear. Yeah. You'll have to tell me if they're yours and then I can write your name on them. Otherwise I'll have to look back. Yeah, that's nice on there. I'll have to look back on my, uh, my video when I opened your mail. That's gorgeous, the colours just match really well don't they lovely yeah sometimes i do well quite often when i make ephemera i don't finish it off you'll remember i often say to you i'll decide where it's going first and then add such and such and this is why because until you use it you just don't know that's lovely what you want and where Super. Oh, it's got a nice journaling spot on the back, so that might be a nice, a nice piece in a tuck as well. I might not have needed to make that. Oh. Now I'm going to have trouble deciding, aren't I? Maybe we want to pop it in the back. I think I do like it better than that, actually. So sorry, I'm probably off film there do we want that one in the front or the back yeah I think I quite like that in the front I'm pleased I discovered it hmm good <laughs> okay um yeah we was looking at this weren't we so that was just a piece I think of um masterboard yeah these are all masterboard look right these need stitching round Right, that's right, I couldn't decide whether to make that a pocket or a, a journal card. It would make a nice pocket though. I think it's too big for any of the pages. 
needs something over there as well but I could I could chop it down and make it a pocket there that would be nice wouldn't it I think I will because if I decide what it is I can then go and um, stitch it I like that flower there I'm using the flower not straight are you not very a slither of it oops okay so if I put the divot in it and um, I think I better measure that one it's a bit a bit uh, too wide for my eyeing it up you know if I'm if I'm far off center which could be it will really show up so we have got, which is the nearest, um, four and a half inches practically. We do it that way so the inches are on there, so that's two and a quarter. Just there. Oh, I might just be cutting that. Oh no, that bit there wants something on it. It's about, is that enough? No. I want the big one. Let's make it look like a. Right, I've got to try and put it in even both sides now, otherwise I won't be sending noise, isn't it? That's better. I much prefer that divot. Um. Yeah, we had something pulled off there. Oh, that was right. It was a fairy's legs that I pulled off. So we need to cover that before we stitch. We could put a piece of washi on it. No. Nope. Um, where's the tin with all the bits? Here it is. Right, so in here we've got all sorts of little bits of doodads and thingamajigs and little tiddly bits. Oh. You've got something stuck on you. This is it's just a flower. I'll have a look at something else, but I do quite like this. So I've obviously cut this off. Uh, it looks like one of those decoupage pieces. And rather than discard it, I just saved it for a bit of embellishment for such a occasion as this an occasion no it's, it's not for there though we've got a butterfly here with a flower on no let's dig them out again big bumblebee no that yellow background's all wrong isn't it oops don't put it in there let's keep them organized flower fairies poems oops what's that another bit of hmm that one's a possibility if I trim it down oh I've got a bumblebee on the clover there right I think that might be the one. Oh, I'm throwing them all over let's corral them again back in this bag Ooh. so when I come on again we will sew in the signature and um these pieces of ephemera, these masterboard pieces of ephemera will be stitched around and um, that bit that's just a bit too long I think if I stick it on I can then trim down there. What do we think? Or I can take this bit off entirely. I think that might be better. And then it's not uh, not clashing with that other flower that I kept in the bottom corner. Let's just go here with it. Yep, yeah, that's nice. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and of course when it's stitched around it will look different again as you know. I'm always saying it. <laughs> and nobody's ever said to me that's not true when you've seen it afterwards yeah 
super. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely pleased with that. So stitch around that, just pop this slot away again because I haven't got the energy tonight to sit and tidy up for half an hour <laughs> after the video. Yeah, so stitched and then we've got one nice pocket going in there. Um, yeah, that just needs stitching round. It's got a bit bent on the corner, but the stitching will probably sort that out. So that's a nice big tag. Oh, now that could go in as part of the, although we have got an envelope in the middle as part of the signature, I was thinking. And then we could just, uh, I think that might be a good idea. I'll leave that in there. We can, you know, put something on the back ready to go in. Yeah, I think that'll go nice in there. Lovely big journal card there. Um, now you can see some writing behind it. Shall we just put some um, stenciling on it? Right, I used that stencil in the other one. Let's use good old swirl. I love swirl. So it's, um, it is, I think that's food dye paper. It's very yellow. It's not, I'm not so keen on it. Um, and you can see a little bit of the book page behind, which I don't always dislike. But I think it needs it needs a bit of something just to make it a bit prettier than it is. So let's have a bit of. No, I should probably be using my brush. I've got brushes here, but I've got this one that I put some pink on that didn't do it very well. That's oh, that's probably quite dark under there. Shall I put a lot on or a bit? <laughs> oh that is a lot that's very dark I like it though <laughs> I hope I'm in camera and you can see yeah I think you can if I move my hands out the way you can is that better? just something across that middle there I think don't you? just lightly yeah I mean that was that was dark that first one let's darken the edge here then Maybe this will be a grungier journal than that other one. Or we could just have a grungy piece of ephemera in it. That's a bit of that fairy. Yeah, that's definitely better. Definitely better. I'll have to do some cleaning up now, so I have to clean my stamp. Um, so yeah, that's a lovely journal card. It's got that nice um, label on it as well. So that, you know, stitched, that's going to really transform that now. Like that, good. So one pocket. Yeah, this could be a Tokora journal card, couldn't it? Again, that's not got anything very interesting. Um, let's just use whatever's on here. Hmm. Look, that swirl. Am I right? That swirl is just beautiful. All on its own. Yeah, that's better. Yep, so it's a, it's a little mini journal card now. So I will stitch it, I think. I'll stitch it as a mini journal card because it still can be a tucked. A tucked? A tuck. Oh, postcard. Should be with my postcards, really, from that. I just keep leaving it in here because it's got a flower fairy. It might get used in the journal, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to call that a video. Oh, it's another piece. Another piece. It needs the same thing. I'm going to call that a video now. Um, because, yeah, time's getting on. I've uh, I've wasted a lot. Well, not wasted, but I've used time in other areas than filming today. Um, oh, dear. We missed the top entirely. That's just... That's it. Mummy dobber. So, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed uh, just a taster of what's to come with this uh, Flower Fairy Journal. And, um, yeah pop back tomorrow for Masterboard Monday. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. And like I say, we might, Monday afternoon to me in the UK or Monday evening, we might just sew the signature in this just to get ahead a little bit because Tuesday it is, oh, I've got loads of that. And I'm, yeah, looking forward to doing that with you. Okay, so hope you have a lovely evening. What's left of it? Um, stay safe and I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.